Good afternoon, everyone. This is Dr. Rafael Bones from Prixus Medical, Tramadine Life, to be talking once again to you guys about MMJ in the state of Florida. So once again, I'm going to bring you an update, and I'm going to review most of the issues and questions that most people have in the state of Florida. Let's begin with the main one. What are the medical conditions that qualify a patient to get MMJ in the state of Florida? Well, debilitating medical conditions, those are the ones that qualify you. Which one is specifically? Well, the law has like 12, but there's a bunch of them. More medical conditions are the one that stay by the law because as long as the doctor believes you got a debilitating medical condition, you're gonna qualify. If you want a real list, here in this video, there's a link either up here or down here, a link that will take you to www.prixusmmj.com. Go to that link. The link will show you the conditions. And you can also submit your information. And somebody from Prixus Medical is going to get in touch with you, email or telephone. You're going to get a call. And we're going to have like a quick interview to determine if you qualify or not. If you qualify, then we, we, we will be able to offer you an appointment that you will come in and go through the start, the whole process to be registered in the state of Florida. All right, registration. Here comes the other issue. Doctors in the clinics, we register the patients. We certify they have a medical condition. We, we register them in the state of Florida in the Department of Health. We give patients a number. After we do that part of the process, it's up to the patient to sign, to fill up an application and send it to the state of Florida, to the Department of Health, right there in Tallahassee. You gotta submit an application, and once the state of Florida processes your applications and you get approved, that's when you're gonna get a card. And once you have a card in your hand, then you can go to a dispensary and get the MMJ that was recommended by any doctor, or in my case, what I recommended you to get take. So keep in mind, please, doctor, we only certify, register. We don't give the car out to people, and the card is given by the state of Florida. So once we finish with our registration process, the rest of the process is with the state of Florida. If they're taking six, eight, ten weeks, please call them. Make sure that you did the right process, because everything has to do with the state of Florida. It don't has, does nothing to do with Dr. Raphael Bones of Prixus Medical. And once again, either up or down, there is a link to www.prixusmnj.com. Go there and there's a lot of information and a lot of answers are gonna be answered there. A lot of questions are gonna be answered there, sorry. Um, the other main issue is that we, we need patients from, from the people of Florida, yes. We voted 72% of the people who wanted uh, MNJ to be legally dispensed in the state of Florida. Well, we need to be patient about it. Um, right now, I believe that a lot of people in our leadership in the state of Florida are not, were not prepared. Simply, they were not prepared to deal with this situation and this changes and this constant evolution of the medicine in the state of Florida. So um, they are not giving what the people want, what regular people want in the state of Florida. And I agree with you guys, 72% is a vast majority. And to be honest with you, from the bottom of my heart, if it's up to me, I believe people should be able to grow whatever they want to grow in the backyards. And even though it could be aloe vera, it could be um, papaya, it could be soursop, Whatever plant or fruit that you may believe is, it has medicinal powers or medicinal properties to deal with your condition, I believe you should be able to grow it and to use it and to prepare it as you see fit, all right? But until we get there, we got to work with the government, work with what we got, and be patient. Believe me, a lot of patients that come to my office, they never ever try MJ. They never had. So this is all new. And I want to take advantage of this. And let me tell you guys, if you are one of those patients or one of those people that would like to try MJ and you had never used it, 
please mention that when you make an appointment with us at Prixus Medical. My staff will gladly give you a 30 minutes appointment so we can sit down, discuss, and clarify any doubts that you may have. I'm not going to be able to do that in 10, 15 minutes, all right? So if you are completely new to this and you have never used it, you have never tried it, mention it to my staff, get a 30 minutes appointment. Health insurance. No, there is no health insurance accepted with for the MMJ. Sorry. It's only catch base and if if you don't like it and if you believe that health insurance should cover this, well, talk to the appropriate people, uh, representative, senators, call your health insurance and talk to them because they are the ones that decide. It's not us the doctors. It's not us the medical clinic. It's not a nurse. It's the health insurance and the government. Mostly health insurance, so you need to get in touch with them. All right. A lot of people ask if everybody, they need to make adjustments to their medications, to their chronic medication, the medication they usually use. Well, not everybody needs to do so. But, for example, if you're a patient that has Parkinson and you're going to use MMJ, yes, we need to adjust your medications. The same thing with anxiety, insomnia, Crohn's disease, MLS, oh my God, a lot of conditions. But for example, if you have cancer or you have HIV with wasting syndrome, then you use the MMJ and you keep using whatever you're using. We don't need to make adjustments to your treatment. So adjustments need to be made by your primary care physician. I do adjustment to the patients that come to me and say, hey, you know what, doctor? I want you to be my primary care physician. I know you're taking care of my MMJ, but I want to come to you every two, three months, every month, as much as needed, because I, I want you to make adjustments to my medications. I want to do this right. I will do so. And for that, yes, we do, we do take health insurance. And what in health insurance do we take in Prixus Medical? Um, everything with Medicare we take, we don't take Medicaid, and um, most um, commercial health insurance, especially the PPOs, we take them all. If you are in an HMO, you need to contact the HMO and find out if, um, if I am in the network or not, because I'm not in every network. All right, what other questions? Allergies. Believe it or not, there are people that are allergic to MJ. Yes. Um, it's a small minority of people, but it happens. So most likely it's going to be related to people that they already knew that they were allergic to, to, to some plants or a tree or a flower. You may have allergy to MMJ. So it's important for you to tell the doctor if you're allergic to any plant, any tree, any flower. It's important. Even fruits. Just mention it before, you know, going through the whole process. Conceal carry permit to conceal carry permit. Wow. Okay, let me put it this way. If you go by the law in the federal government, if you apply to, to have a concealed carry, you know, permit and be able to carry your gun with you, they ask you, and you're going to um, fill up a formulary, right? And in there, they're going to be talking about MMJ. So the real answer to that question is most likely, because I'm not a lawyer and, and nobody has been able to give a 100% sure answer on this, but most likely, if you have an MMJ card and you apply to get a concealed weapon carry permit, um, you're going to get the, the permit. Why? Because the federal government and the state governments are not fully synchronized on information on the patients, right? Is there a chance that you don't get it? Yes, there's a chance you won't get approved. Now, most importantly, if you already have a, car, a permit to carry a concealed weapon, and then you already have the, the permit, all right? It's not that you're going to apply to it. You already have your permit. You can get your card. 
the permit is not going to be taken away from you. I got, I don't know, 100 patients. No one, no patient have come to me and say, hey, doctor, they took away my, my permit because I applied to an MMJ card. No, that has not happened. So it's not going to happen. And talking about the federal government, the doctors, they're going to be audited and they're going to be fine, fine like if, 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 if a doctor was messing around with a DEA um, narcotic license. So doctors, we don't mess with that. Um, we don't put our license in risk, not even a fine. So I believe most doctors, hopefully all of them, they doing everything under the state of Florida, following the law, um, step by step, without any kind of frauds. Um, I'm checking in my list right here. I don't believe I have any other question, make questions that I'm gonna be doing. Uh, I think already past my 10 minutes of the day. So um, just like our page, Dr. Raphael Bones or Prixus Medical, and um, you're gonna get updates. And we post a lot of information, educational information about MMJ as a whole in the state of Florida and as a whole for health. Anyway, um, be smart, stay healthy, and live well. Take care, guys.